Yo guys, what is up? Trent here from How To Haven. Today with another video, and this one's going to be all about how to add YouTube annotations to your video. Now, adding YouTube annotations to a video is it's a very good way to interact with your viewers, your subscribers, and so on. Uh, it makes another thing they can see in their video and something they can click, etc., etc. Anyways, guys, without further ado, let's get right into it. And the first thing you want to do is go to your channel. And this is my primary channel where I post gameplays and such. And we're just going to go, let's go find a video. Um, let's see, just any video will probably do. Let's go to this February Loot Crate unboxing. And you'll see that you have all this stuff right here. And you could just go to annotations. Really easy. And let's see, so you want a couple end. Let's go all the way to the end. Okay, so uh, let's add a speech bubble. Speech bubble is something you can do. It has this little thing down here that you can move and adjust. You can move it around anywhere you want. Uh, let's make me say something. Let's see, I am ugly. No, I'm handsome. Okay, so we could do that, and so you have a speech bubble, and you could just go down here and you can change it to impact, which kind of adds like a little effect to your speech bubble. You go down here and you can change the text color. Unfortunately, there's only two colors you can choose from, white and black. And then you could go down here and you can actually change the color of the whole box. So we can make it dark red, we can make it yellow, anything we really want. Um, and then you come down here, and you can change the time. So say we want it to go longer, we can make it go to 457. Or sorry, 457. Or you can really choose any time you want. They could last a whole video, 10 seconds, 5 seconds. And you could add a link down here. Uh, so you could do a video link, which goes to another video, a playlist link, which will link you to another playlist, a channel link, which will link you to someone's channel, uh, a Google Plus profile page, you can link to your Google Plus page, a subscribe. Uh, which is actually just, you know, subscribe to your channel, a fundraising project, you have a Kickstarter, or like GoFundMe or something like that, or merch, uh, if you have like a merch website or something like that. Uh, let's just do subscribe, and my channel name, let's see, it's, let's just do this one, which should be Gautu Spasms, and we want to actually preview the link uh, before we do it, so preview link, it takes you to my channel, if I wasn't already logged in, I would be able to just press uh, the subscribe button that would come up. Yeah, so now we have that, and what you want to do is press save, which is already saved, then apply changes. I don't actually want this into my video, so I'm not going to do that, but once you press apply changes, it will actually be there. So I'm going to delete this, uh, and then we could add another one. We could add a note, which is more or less the same thing as the speech bubble, except it doesn't have that thing down here. Move it around all the same, do the same effects. Uh, you could also add a title, which is a little different, uh, so you could say title, and it goes like this, there's no box around it, it's kind of just like adding a caption to your video. Now, you could also add a spotlight, which is actually one of my favorite, and I have some right here. Uh, you basically just ch choose the spotlight, and it creates a box, and it's a clickable box if you want it to be, and you it'll encompass any part, so I have it encompassing these pictures, subscribe. I don't know why this is flashing. That's kind of odd. But yeah, you could do a, a spotlight. And uh, you could have it go over something and you could be able to click it. I have my channel or a video link down here for this one. Uh, for this one, I have another video. And then for the subscribe one, I have a, a subscribe link. That's a great way to, if you have something at the end like I do, I like to do this, have this cool song. Uh, you can check out my other videos. You subs can subscribe. Uh, it's really a great way, you know, just for people to see at the end of the videos if they liked it. Uh, it'll give them kind of a reminder to subscribe and check out your other content. Anyways, guys, that's how you add some annotations to your videos. I hope this helped you a little bit. If it did, please drop a like. Comment if you need any help, any questions. I would love to answer them. And subscribe for more tutorials. Been your boy Trent. Until next time. Thank you.